Yo, good morning, my delicious friends. Welcome back for a bit more of Baldur's Gate free action. We are live on Twitch. Links in the description and doing a very, very early stream at 6 a.m. My life is full of woe because my sleeping pattern is ruined, but I've done my work for the day, so we're going to relax in this amazing game. A little bit less grumpy than last time because last time we were down here. All right, let's turn off my... I've got Baldur's Gate background music. I've just realized that wasn't in-game. So down here, uh, we've got all these boyos and these drow, Draugar dwarves, basically evil underground dark dwarves. Um, they're scumbags <clears throat> and they're full of slavery. So on behalf of the local mushroom kingdom, uh, we are actually going to clear out the slavers. Uh, however, this guy I think can raise dead and all of these boys aren't joking. This has like a, a double shot and a crossbow. So we ideally want these guys to stay as dead bodies. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is hopefully they won't notice if I just push this guy in the water and kill him. Have to keep going. We are, of course, doing Dwarf Kratos roleplay. The Barbarian's way. War and death is everything. Now, I really like this dwarf. I like his hair. I like his beard. I like his vibe. I like that he has his top off like I do. However... Can we just kill him with a cheeky push? Hey! Before he knows what's happening. Shh. You didn't see anything. Lady Zamos, it's almost my birthday. What should I get for myself? Um. Uh. Doxy, I think it's called. I think it's the Doxy Original or the Doxy Original Version 2, Lady Zamos. And you want to make sure you get the one of the plug. Um, not the battery one. The one of a plug will last forever at maximum vibe. Uh, but they're absolute bangers. Fucking game changers. <clears throat> he didn't even put up a fight. He was leaning... He was listening to my live stream on his phone. So, what I intend to do is not engage these guys in battle yet. I would like to see... Number one, can I search for dead? Nothing. 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 Number two, can I pick up the bodies? Improvise a melee weapon. I, f I think it's, I think it's this. I'm going to try to pick up this corpse and hope that it doesn't trigger battle. Oh, too heavy. But I can throw people, can't I? I can only pick them up or chuck them when they're dead. Okay, let's try throw. These bodies are too heavy to throw. Oh, you weighty little sluts. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hope. We're gonna hope, my friends, that they don't become alive. Because I'm gonna get my crew to come up here. And although I could probably push him. Text the talker, not me. Back off. Careful. Although I could probably push this guy into trouble. It would be a good move to uh, kill him and actually take what he's got. So I'm just going to very surreptitiously and not at all suspiciously surround him. <laughs> and uh, let's get a Starion Don't touch me. to get into Be dagger careful. position. <laughs> this isn't this isn't sus at all. And get Cole over here, the leader of the Draugar with two axes. Uh, we're now going to vibe him. So, uh, we've used up a lot of people's one-time-only abilities before rests and stuff. I might try to squeeze a half-day rest in now. Uh, do you know what? Actually, I think everyone's got enough power and abilities. I don't think I need to. So, let's go ahead. Uh, and I want to do an attack that causes bleed. So, we're going to go back to Barbarian Kratos. Not as bad as it could have. And we're going to... What's prepare? Sacrifice movement speed to deal extra slashing damage. Oh, extra slash. Okay, pierce. Yeah, piercing shot, gaping wounds. <laughs> Gaper. Uh, two to nine damage. Cleave. Oh, I need a short. Okay, we need a short range uh, rest before I can last raid. All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Okay, brilliant. This is what I'm after. Uh, we're going to lacerate this boy. Uh, I've got acid on my axe. 
Fuck yeah. Let's go. Oh, I missed. Try again. Okay. 15 damage. Now we're ready. Uh, we are a Starian. So let's do... It's got to be the sneak stab, right? Piercing strike for more gaping. No, sneaky, sneaky melee. Try again. Uh, now, I'm actually going to send Asti. Seems he's got all this movement speed available. Probably up to this dude. So I'm going to try to get him to come around here somehow. Can I get him to jump over here? Because the thing is, I need to get Astarian out of combat after I use him to stab. Because he's really useful in the game for everything except for combat. He takes damage like a sponge really badly. Okay, so you uh, run over there. We're doing very, very well. Two bleeding damage. Okay, now this is what I feared. I knew that was going to be a problem, but we should be able to manage it. <clears throat> you scam. I'm not kidding, Lady Zamos. It's a game changer. Have you, um, have you tried it? Use the dead body like a club. That's the dream, man. What kind of time is this? You okay? Are you safe? Blink twice. Nisart, dude. I woke up at 10 p.m. last night and I've been hating Clip Studio Paint and inking all night. And I've had my breakfast at night. I worked all night. I've had my dinner just before stream. So this is games before bed at 6 a.m. It's not great. <laughs> it's been better, bro. Anyway, how you doing, man? Okay, now, I'm actually a little bit out of range since you did that cheeky jumpy. Uh, but as a barbarian, R2 can do the cheeky jumpy. So I'm going to pop my sweep self here. I can't do Rage of the Bear. Is that because I've just used a secondary ability, maybe? That's absolutely fine. Uh, this guy's got 15 HP, but we're focusing on our boy over here. So I won't, I won't risk a cleave. Ain't handy. Yo! Yo, that's leader get down. We've got an antidote to draw ghost off. Misty step, which I think is teleport. Vampiric touch with necrotic damage. And exterminator's axe. Exterminator's axe does up to six to twenty-two instead of my seven to twenty-one. With a conditional fire damage. When a wielder has 50% HP or less, they do additional damage with my axe. On this one, this deals an additional 1 to 6 fire damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. Insects! Little Espikenia. Okay, this axe looked really good until I read it. So instead of 1d12 plus 4... It's... Wait, 1d12 plus 5? I think... I think I'm actually going to hold on to my own axe. I think my bloody great axe is better. Anyway, and also we've got some stew. Anyway, we're, in a, we're still in the middle of a battle. They're not out yet, guys. That was just very, very good for us. So, can I too get my boy... I know I need to disengage, but I'm going to take the hit for the sake of a bit of movement. Okay, in turn. Now, we've got this dead dwarf that was reanimated by our ally, who I can't help but notice has not joined us. Somewhere back over here is like a fungus man. Is he up? Wait, wait a minute. I think he's up here. Here he is. Notice he's not helping. Sovereign glut. <clears throat> he has... He has really just vibed off on his own. Can I maybe convince him to come support the fact that I'm doing his work for him? So Sovereign Glut is a uh, a broodmaster or a queen, I guess, but of a different fungal tribe from the one we're currently vibing with. Can't get there. He can't. He can't reach me. Okay. Anyway, he has reanimated this corpse, and this corpse 
can do uh, a slam attack. Go on him. Good bit of eight damage. Followed by uh, a leap. Should I put him over here? Nice. Now, wonderful mage lady. Wonderful, wonderful mage lady. We've got two boys here. Can I get her to run up here and then dash even further around so that we can get a sneaky squeezo? Okay, that's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, Shield of Faith. Protect a creature from attacks. Uh, yeah, just in case I need it. As for you, good sir, let's continue killing this guy. So, reanimated corpse, level one. Um, seven HP. Let's make this a bit bigger. He didn't put up a fight. That's because I wrecked him early, mate. I wrecked him and got him. Ice damage, one to eight. It's, it's all about chromatic orb. I think chromatic orb is the most powerful thing I've got. 3 to 24 damage. Uh, level 1. And I think I can just constantly use this. I don't think I have to have any rests. This is just a really cool spell that I'm cool enough to have. 90% uh, disadvantage though? Is it because I'm too close? Okay. Well, he's only got 1 HP left, so I'm going to put that down as a technical win. <gasps> If he's got one HP, mate, if he's got one HP, let's walk over here. Let's push him off here. Go on. <laughs> Shove off. I can love this game. This game's so good. All right. Uh, do I have loads of movement? Oh, my boys are in the way and I can't jump. Uh, okay, let's end turn there. He's kind of blocking the route. Oh, he pushed the dead guy. I oh, don't know, these boys have opinions. I think they've used Dash. Oh, Jesus, Asarian. No, Asarian. Oh, look at my poor boy, Asti. Hmm, okay. Uh, now, the problem is, if I physically get out of here, they will all be able to beat Astarian up. Uh, that is unfortunate. Should we do some vampiric biting? Uh, yes. Uh, on this guy. Oh, you can't bite undead. Clever girl. Shit, I kind of need to move him out of the way. We might have to do a cheeky disengage. Now, what was the disengage button? I really can't... Is it this one? Flea combat? No. Friends. All right, step one, potion. <sighs> step two, 15 HP, 15 HP. Yeah, step two, let's just start. Let's start giving them some hurting. Go on then, the old one, two. <laughs> it was a really painful drop. Now, that guy is just fucked up. Um, the wonderful Shadowheart. But he has now put himself inside her line of sight. So that's uh, not as bad as it might seem. Okay, finally, Bear Rage. <clears throat> there we go, lad. All right, let's get messy. Uh, reckless attack. They have advantage back, but do you want to know what? YOLO. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get away with a cleave across both of these boys. Uh, that guy's still got one HP left. What? What even? Oh, mate, what even? Uh, now, I'm going to have to take some damage because I'm putting him up here. 
Oh, we'll take two. Two's not so bad. Okay, sweet. Uh, I still got loads of HP, so let's just dunk a quick potion. Oh no, that was both my things. Alright, as for my boy, let's get uh, Captain Fungus back in. Can we get him near enough this dude to finish him off so he doesn't hit me back? Yes. Uh, and then, uh, can you throw oil of, wait, oil of diminution? Coat a weapon in oil. Do you know I should probably take that off of him? Uh, can you punch again? YOLO? Oh, brilliant. Wait, was that... Has he got two punch movements and a push? Sweet. Uh, right, so, you lovely sweetheart. Number one, let's avoid any more burning damage. Jesus. <clears throat> Out into the open, girl. Uh, right, I'm glad I gave her that shield because she took a huge amount of damage and might have actually died about it. So, secondary, healing ward. Primary, guiding bolt, 4 to 24 damage. Oh, yeah! Please! That is one of the most powerful attacks. That took off 31 HP. How did that do bonus damage? Oh, guys, is it because these guys are underground Dwalgar dwellers? They're like dwellers of the dark. Does her kind of like... I don't even know what... Radiant. Does Radiant Magic do extra damage? Because they're so like... Uh, no sunlight. Anyways, you can't get close enough to loot the body. But she's done very well. Uh, channel divinity luck points. I don't really know what that means. Unleash me. Okay, now we've got one, two awkward boyos left down here. Captain problematic up here. Uh, and silence in the radius of this. So number one, exit the silence area. Uh, number two, let's fuck with this guy. Can I do another acrobatic orb? Oh, he's got a high defense. This might not work. Oh, did that not work? Oh, wait, wait, can I? Wait, can I only use chromatic orb once per rest? So I was very disappointed that he got the crossbow out just then. I should have used one of my... I've, I've got loads of spell items. It doesn't even occur to me to use my item spells. Uh, can I go further? Can I give me a little push? Let's fuck with him. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. Nice dodge, Astarian. Okay, Asti, bro, we've got 2 HP boy, 15 HP boy. Get yourself an offhand attack on him. Nice. And get your mainy on him. Nothing on the corpse, eh? Don't worry about it, bro. Another fight. The cleric is low HP. Uh, that's just, yeah. She, I gave her a shield, thankfully, um, before she took an attack, but she got hit with two rounds of attack from this guy, and she was standing on fire. Um, so I'm slowly going to have to make sure that we keep an eye on her. Uh, Chonky? Uh, well, I've got my bear rage on, so let's just start chopping, right? Uh, piercing. Preparing. Chopping! 22 HP damage! Ooh! Studded shield, fish, mushrooms, chainmail, speak with the dead, and a healing scroll as well. Oh, mate, that's just kind of what Chonkos is all about, you know what I mean? Can't slow down. 
Let's get Chunky down here. Let's follow up with a push. A bit more HP damage. Nice. Nice. Uh, then this little Draugar guy, I guess he can... What's he going to do? Uh... Can I can I jump him down here? I mean, he's nothing to do with me. Go on, lad. <laughs> you did really well. Now, punch this guy. Oh, he's got one HP left. Now, uh, cure wounds. Yes. Level two. Take your, your Better than nothing. Uh, this body has a heavy crossbow, lever armor, and toxins. Ooh, lovely bit of toxin. On my way. Might as well come a bit further over here, love. Just in case we need you. Wolf Canis, how's you doing this morning, by the way? Wolf Canis, welcome to my very early Let's Play Baldur's Gate session. Hope life is treating you well, man. Um, what's he? What's the range of my magic? What? Forget that. What's the range of my crossbow? 90% disadvantage. Go on, lad. One HP. Nice work, guys. So, we've killed all the Draugar slavers. Ooh, shattered, gutsy, gross, but most of all capable. Uh, so, I think we can go back now. Obviously, we want to use this boat or something really cool. And we've already been down here. So, I think we can vibe back and tell... Actually, should we get a cheeky halfy resty for our hard work? Oh, off we go, then. Um, so now, let's go back to the dude. We'll find a way forward. Uh, old what's his name? Here he is. Can I get you to get near my own people? And now he's moving. This guy's... Look, he physically won't go anywhere that's not like... that not really close. Like, really, really close and line of sight. So I guess he just got caught, and that's why he wasn't helping with my people. Could you please rejoin the group? I think that's done it. Let's try talking to him. Hey, Sovi. It is time. We take death to the Dwegar. Yeah. Wait, the Dwegar are dead. I did it. I must see it for myself. Lead me to the rot. I wish to see it faster. Well, if you'd actually kept up, you would have been there the whole time. Light on my feet. Is he coming this time? Hey, okay, there he goes. Hey, come look at come look at the dead bodies. Do you like a dead body? Very cool, way to go. Got a dead body for you. Oh, it's good, look at him! Oh hey, Rain! Rain, thank you so much, man. Uh I really appreciate that. Rain, welcome on in. Rain's just subscribed of tier one. Rain, not only are you very, very handsome, um, you can now access my Discord, uh uh, art section and download my art for free it's my way of saying thank you to subscribers it's like being on my patreon but you know you're paying me via twitch uh so thank you and uh, enjoy your rewards and uh wow hey are you a big Baldur's gate um player come on short steps short steps big dreams come on fungi fungi yeah what Stop turning around! Look, there's a dead body. Oh, I guess he wants to see this guy. The fanfare is sung. The rot 
is cleansed. It is. We did really well. The tumor is excised. Mm. The Dwega are dead. <laughs> I break ground. From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. Oh, he's going to make a new fungus In base. The age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. What? You turn on the spore who gave you shelter. Chonkos does not backstab. Chonkos follows the simple barbarian way. Why would you do it, mate? She was looking after you. A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwergar flourished. I sang to Spore for help. Yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Oh. Choose, smooth mind. Help me grow a mighty circle and reap the reward. Or protect the precious poltroon. Ooh. As it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. Yeah, the game volume's not loud enough. Yeah, sure. Are you guys finding it a bit bit quiet at your end? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh... I mean, it's pretty loud in my headset. But <laughs> no, let's go into options. <clears throat> uh, okay, so uh, I was at 99% on the main volume. Uh, the speaking volume is always, uh, because I always find voices too quiet in games, so I always have, uh, this guy at 100. The only thing that's really turned down are the sound effects and the music. <clears throat> Lady Zemos. Do you reckon it's the dynamic age? Um, I, I can't, I can't give you, can't give you any more of a maximum juice, but also my desktop Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I have... One sec, one sec. My desktop audio is max butts. One sec. How do I see the bar? One sec, one sec. Here we go. I might have lowered my sound. No, my computer sounds at 100. Lady, this is... It's all she's got to give, Captain! Also, uh... That jab of a hot wannabe has got bars. Leo, yeah. Long, long in glut, slow in sin. I'll drop these beats and fungus right in. I'll grow these spores as we drop these boys. Spread my network more for some dwarven toys. Battles of Baldur's Gate. Begin! I don't know, if I turn up the volume to hear the dialogue, Mikey's too loud. It is very late, I might be crazy. Oh hey, maybe you want... Maybe what you want is less me. La 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 la. Yo, am I, am I peeking out a little bit? La 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 la. Yo, how about now? How about now, guys? How is my audio level? Am I too... Am I, am I now of a balance? Impossible, I always want you. Aww. Lady Zamos, right back at you. Uh, what sort of games are you into, Mikey? Do you have any games you'd recommend? Rain. <sighs> Big question. Uh, so, Rain, I tend to gravitate towards one-player narrative-driven games. Um, I like a good mechanics that are fun. Um, but I tend to go for games that have got a story or a hook. You know, like, what is the mystery? And I play the game because I want to uncover what it's got to tell me. 
Uh, I tend to like long RPGs, uh, but also um, indie games, puzzle stuff, anything that's integrated well with Twitch. I will give almost anything a try, but I'm a very slow gamer, so I try not to play too much at once. I have a list of games. Now, I don't want to flood you with information, but I have a list of games of what I have played and what we've got lined up. But that doesn't necessarily tell you which one of them I've enjoyed. You're too little now. Oh, I'll turn it back up. Okay, here we are. Here we are with Mikey back in. Back on Max. Um, Very cool. Way to Lady go. Zamos, we'll come back to you and tell me if you still have problems in the future. Oh! Black Elric brother! Brother! Black Elric brother, welcome back in. Thank you so much for using your Prime, dude. 24 months. Two beautiful years. We used to have rewards for two yearsies. Um, and I'm thinking about putting something back in, in the future. So watch this space. <laughs> I just got to get a load of work done first. But how are you, man? Thank you very much for that reset. Welcome and, uh, to our early morning stream. Uh, Rain, what games... Rain, what games have you enjoyed? And then, based on what your answer is, I'll try to think up some options. I also enjoyed a few T modes, though. Apex Legends, that's always a good one. Hey, big lovin', welcome on in, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Okay, in terms of life, no complaints. In terms of, like, complaining. <sighs> struggling to use Clip Studio Paint to draw a manga. It's no one's fault except for mine. Um, I followed a very bad process. I didn't follow, like, a tutorial or anything. I went in and out of different stages to try to put it together. And I've given myself a headache and I don't love line arting and inking. Uh, quite like I used to. I now enjoy rendering out shapes. So it feels like a step back and I find it very, very frustrating. So I woke up at 10 p.m. last night. That was my breakfast wake up time. And I've been on Clip Studio Paint all the way until now, six, seven o'clock in the morning in England, um, where I've just had my dinner after having struggled to ink Clip Studio Paint all night long. And, uh, you know, I'm not really happy with this sleeping pattern or this vibe. But I've inked two of the pages on the first inking pass. You know, I haven't done all the fine detail. Uh, all four of the pages have been drafted and are ready for inking. So I just need to do the first inking pass on the other two pages. Then tighten it all up. And once I tighten it all up, I'll start to feel good about it. But I just, I, I hate the method that I'm doing to get this done. And uh, I don't, I like the next hentai that I make is going to be half as long and rendered in a completely different way. So I'm learning a lot, so let's put it that way. I, I'm being very lucky in that I've had a very hard education in what not to do. And that will make my next manga much better. <laughs> but this one's terrible. Ah, Izzy, thank you very much for the hype, by the way. <clears throat> anyway, thank you very much for asking. Black, um, the cover to that, the Tsunade cover for Naruto, is available in um, the art rewards section on Discord. So thank you very much for subscribing. Go and collect your rewards. My thank you to you. Big Lovin, how you doing, by the way? Are you a Baldur's Gate player? Okay, so this guy is basically like, my people died and she didn't help. And those who don't help, like, how to put it? At first they came for the fungus, but I did not act for I was not that fungus. Do you know what I mean? And now, now they're coming for her. So do I let nature take its course? Do I play the Star Trek and not in get involved in the natural cycle of fungal warfare? Or do I take the fact that she at least harbored this guy and then sent him and us out to clear up the Draugar and his now deciding to turn on her as a backstab? And does my barbarian's pride mean that I want to kill him? Or roll with it if he's going to give me rewards? <clears throat> So, if you are eager for blood, I will give it to you. So, do we murder Glut, or do we let Glut be the new future? I'm into similar types of narrative games, but I'm also into slow-paced games that I can take my time with. Uh, like Stardew Valley and strategy games. <gasps> okay, Rain. Um, are you are, are you aware of the uh, new... Uh, and it's not out yet, obviously. But they're making a strategy game based on Dune. And I know they did one before, a kind of Command and Conquer thing. Um, but I'm like a massive fan of Dune in general. Uh, and even if the game sucks, even if it's the lowest score on Steam, when that game comes out, I'm going to play it and I'm going to commit to it. 
<laughs> so I'm going to be getting into that. I used to have Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 uh, on like a USB stick because it has uses very little memory to run. And every time I got like a new cheap laptop or anything, that would be the first game I'd put on it because you could run it off the memory card. Oh, it's just an absolute banger. Tesla coils all night long, mate. <clears throat> Uh, I've never played Stardew, though. I actually don't play Stardew or Minecraft because I think I might get addicted if I do. I'm trying to be really good. I'm doing good. I've been watching people play Baldur's Gate 3. I've never played Baldur's Gate and I'm trying to decide if I should get it because it looks pretty cool. Be gloving. Two things to tell you whilst I'm slowly deciding on whether or not we're going to kill this guy. I think he's ungrateful. I do think he's... Now, I understand his plight. I understand the plight and he didn't receive help. But I'm not 100% sure if attacking your own kind is the answer. We're probably going to kill him. Uh, Big Lovin', number one. This Sunday, uh, I'm going to do uh, a giveaway uh, for Baldur's Gate. Uh, it doesn't matter what country you live in, because we will find... the it, Basically, if you're here in chat on Sunday when we're playing this, uh, we'll do a lucky dip. And then, if you win, I'll ask you what country you live in. And then I'll make sure I get the correct Steam code. Um, but yeah, so if you're on the fence about getting this, come hang out with us on Sunday, because you might win it for free. But overall, uh, I'm not a D&D &D guy. Uh, I don't know about the world of D&D. &D. I've just started trying to read the first chapter of a Drizzit book. And uh, it's it's might be the kind of fantasy writing that I'm a little bit sick of. It's a bit of a slog. But... Um, I, I started playing this as a test run. We've got a little Kratos character here, God of War, uh, our little barbarian dwarf, um, just for fun to test the game to see if my computer could run it because I'm a bit low frames. Um, but the result was I was immediately addicted and we played it for nine straight hours. This game is very, very addictive. Even if you don't know anything about D&D, &D, the amount of decisions and freedom of choice, like every, every time you go back to something, like depending on who lived or died in the last battle, there's completely different scenarios and conversations. Quite a lot of fun. <clears throat> Very cool. Way to go. What time is it over there? Shouldn't you be sleeping? <gasps> Cheeky smiley face. Hey, oh, hey, Tom. How you doing, man? That's our Tom, right? No, <laughs> that's our Tom from Kick, right? How you doing, man? Uh, yeah, Tom. I've got a horrible sleeping pattern, bro, at the moment because I'm still like inking those manga panels. And I hate doing it. Uh, I, it's a really I, it's, it's tough to force myself. Uh, so I ruined my sleeping pattern over the last week and a bit. And now I woke up at 10 p.m. last night. I have inked panels very slowly, very frustratedly, all night long. Had my breakfast, come all the way around to the morning, uh, done a little bit of exercise, had a shower, had my dinner. And now it's 7 in the morning, UK time, and I'm playing video games before bed. So that's where, that's where we are in my life. Ah. Tofu. I tabbed... By the way, thank you so much for the 34 months, dude. I tabbed out of Boulder's Gates. Uh, in, in On Firefox. So look who's also playing. Oh, hey. Hey, Tofu. Well, welcome back in. And yeah, we are playing. Playing and loving it. Where are you up to? It's 2 a.m. I know the feeling. Dude. Uh, do you not like Star Stardew? Oh, no, 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 yeah, Stardew's... No, I, so I shouldn't play Stardew. Like, I've seen Stardew and it looks great, just like I've seen Minecraft and it looks great. I shouldn't play it because I get addicted to stuff quite easily. And Stardew and Minecraft are both games which are open-ended. Like, there's not a final boss. And not like a... Or at least, I think there, there might be a dragon, actually, in Minecraft. But, like, you can play the game forever. You know, it doesn't... There's no credits rolling. And I, like, if I do that, I will never get any work done. So I have to, like, I can watch people play it, but I have to not play it myself. Otherwise, you'll never see me again. Um, Great White Kitty knows a lot about Minecraft, though. She was a bit of a server girl back in the day. Back in her younger years. Uh, Tom, that's exactly what we're doing. It's super cool. I'll definitely be there if I can. Unfortunately, I'm almost certain I work a 16-hour shift that day. Oh, big loving. I'm so, so sorry, dude. Um, but overall, uh, yeah, I recommend this game. Like, uh, I played a... Ter not terrible, not terrible. I played an overpriced game. 
a double A title that was a triple A price tag. Forspoken was 70 quid. This game is 50 quid and 100 times better. Those baldless boys, they've done well by my heart. Okay, right, well, I don't like this guy's attitude. I don't want to create a new spawn thing and turn my backs on my other gooey friends. Okay, glut. Donkos is here to kill. You shall never again know home. Oh, that's a, that's a good threat. Who's got 90 HP? Ah! I really like that threat. I really don't like his power level. Okay, uh... I don't need vampiric bites. These flame hands will actually burn everyone in the area. Piercing strike, gaping bleeding damage. Let's go. Ooh, he made a squeal. Uh, okay. Offhand follow-up. Go on him. Maybe move away? Because I, I don't know what kind of... Oh, I moved out of his combat range accidentally. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know what? I might as well stay out now. Now that I've taken a hit, I can use my bow and arrow. I did, I did give him a bow and arrow, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. I should probably give him that crossbow. Okay, sweetheart. What we got? Guiding bolt. Big damage. Bright. Big dreams. Big attitude. Let's go. Oh, am I too close? Oh, she missed! I think I'm too close to use magic. Vivacious. Work to do. Don't worry, Alice. I was wondering if I might catch you, because I appreciate you always fall, go to bed earlier than I do. Even though your time zones don't make sense to me. But thank you very much for the hello. I hope you get a lot of work done. Hope you draw lots of naughty pictures, Alice. Uh, yeah, I'm really miffed by that. She was going to do a super powerful attack. And it's it's basically missed. Shall I coat her weapon in toxin? Coated in toxin. Right, sweet. What fools these mortals be. Uh, okay. Mr. Magic Man. Uh, you're not too close to fire. Chromatic orbs, are you? Ooh, shatter. 24 damage. Thunder wave. Cheeky fundy. Target is blocked. Can I chrome over no no? Hey, 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 oh, ho, ho. One chromatic orb. Poison damage? Acid damage? Double assy. 3 to 24 thunder damage. Let's go. Level 2 does 4 to 32. What? Okay. And I'm definitely going to use chromatic orb. I'm not going to use my bow and arrow again, right? Okay, 16's not bad. We'll take it. Uh, in turn. Okay, boy, bear rage again. Chonkos got a war. Piercing. Oh, was that with a crossbow? Damn, I thought that was with my axe. Ow. I've just realized that dead Draugar's not controlled by me. It was controlled by him this whole time. Ah, okay. Well, fortunately, he's just been killed. But uh, I've only just seen the problem with that situation of having him still close. Oh, wait, can I blind him? One sec. Pop in. Color spray. Cheeky step. Get out! Oh, yeah. oh, he's down! Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Can I revive him? Oh, shit! Uh, can, can I get her to go over here? Ah! 
big oof. I know. I've got to kind of not really pay attention for a bit. I'm making uh, a catio for bean. And I'm in the middle of painting it. Oh, hey. Uh, what's a catio? Uh, which one's bean? Is bean for cat? Wait, what's a... A painting? Oh. A painting of bean. If you need me, yell. Because I've got you on my iPad. Izzy, I will yell and call out your name in many a situation. Society allowing. Okay, produce flame, pass about trace. I can't use my cure wounds. So can I apply this potion to Asti? Ooh, I've brought him back from the edge with one HP. Oh, good girl. The cleric had to go in manually. Uh, can I give myself a potion? Okay. Uh, story. <laughs> Do you want to try vampiric bite? You kind of need it now, don't you? Oh, you can't bite plant. Me? You can't bite anything in this game. Forget it. You can't bite undead. Can't buy a plant. Would you like to use a... Wait, do you not have any potions in your... Oh, shit. Bottle of grease. Fuck it. Should I just hit him with a fire arrow? It won't let me. Oh, am I only on secondary movement? Cunning action. Disengage. Yeah. Mate, let's disengage. You need you need some distance, bro. Let's put you over here for a bit. Okay, a bit more magic. Uh, should we try Thunder Wave again now that she's not in the way? Shatter. Let's try this one. Nice, 12 HP. Okay, we're going to wear this chap down. I guess I could get him to be a bit further away as well. To avoid return hits. Uh, can I get him to... Maybe give a potion to a Starion? Do I have potions in my menu? Oh, I don't actually have any... <gasps> The barrel, the barrel, the barrel, the barrel, the barrel, the barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, can I can I place the barrel? Okay, next character. One question. Barrel. Is worth the cost. So here I am. Do I have a barrel? Oh god, okay. I think actually Tronkos is literally the only one without a barrel in his inventory. All the others are barrel bearers. Uh, so, why don't you do what you do best? Uh, a lacerating strike? Oh, I missed. Oh, mate! What are you talking about? Mate, I was a bit good for nothing, to be honest. Your character's inventories are all linked. Any character can drink any potion from any others when you hit tab. Uh, I don't know if that counts in combat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, maybe it does count in combat. Wait, can I just... Can I use the inventory to skip... Business? Can I subvert the flow of battle? By taking a potion of greater healing. Putting it over here. Okay, he still has to drink it himself. Ah, oh, ah, oh, so I can barrel swap. I can hot swap oil barrels. <gasps> okay, let's see what we're up to. Okay, Astarian. Uh, so, Asti, just drink your potion. Be well. Uh, then, he's too far away. He's too far away. Range attack. Quick shot. Better than nothing. Give up. Okay, sweet. Sweet. 
Step one. Okay, can I do it? Can I get her to put the oil barrel? Oh, Jesus. Oh, she won't put it down. Can you not... Oh, is there no space? Is it just because there's so much blood and guts? Encumbered movement costs. Oh, okay. Well, forget that then. Uh, guidance. Sacred flame. Uh, invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies from illusion. Mate, just stab it. Just stab it. He saved it! And he said, Did he save against the acid damage? Go on, stab it again, seeing as you appear to have two options to do so. Okay, sweet. Uh, quick potion. Rough tempest I will raise. Uh, why not Misty Step? Uh, home to the upper level and use magic from there. Nissan, that's a very good point. Why don't I just misstep up there? I mean, this guy can use magic from here, right? Without being disadvantaged, I think. I think I'm far away enough. Let's do another chromo. Chromo level one. Oh my god. Oh, dude, you suck balls. What is so good about this guy that everyone's missing him? I could get him to jump up there, can I? No, not quite. Oh, is this guy? Oh! I didn't realize. When did he? When did he raise dead on that guy? Fuck. Okay. Well, I'm down there now. Uh, right, okay. How much HP has he got? Oh, he's only got 12 left. We should do this. We're probably going to be okay, guys. Main hand attack. Think big. 10 HP damage. He's probably too thick to push. Secondary. Wyvern toxin. Sleep potion. I'm going to leave uh, Chonkos right where he is. Okay, quick long range. Hey, there we go. Uh, oh, this guy's still here, though. What's this asshole doing? Stab him. Spill some blood. Oh, how embarrassing. He <laughs> missed. Can everyone please finish off this guy? He's only got four HP. The usurper is dead. So much for circle glut. I doubt any tears will be shed. Or secreted. Whatever mushrooms do. I'm probably backseat gaming too much. Oh, don't worry. I actually allow backseat gaming. You're fine, mate. Um, I don't allow spoilers. If there's like a plot point, uh, or a story-driven game. Don't talk to me about anything that's not even happened on screen yet. Soon, but in I terms of helping me with actually good content. advice, no, I don't mind backseating. It's not for everyone, but um, I'm fine with it. Boopley Quinn, how you doing? It's been a while since I've heard Mikey's smooth voice. Boopley, how the devil are you? Is Nagy still playing that dark, dark side game? How's life? <clears throat> Rain, you've just finished dinner. Rain, what are you eating for dinner? What do you have? My dinner, thanks for asking, uh, was burger, burger meats, on top of um, French dressing salad, uh, mixed curly greens, uh, a sliced tomato, and a little bit of cheese. And it was delicious. A lot of salt. Okay, I don't have any more small rests. Uh, but Sovereign Glut... Hold a humanoid enemy still. <gasps> oh, God! Good Lord, I've totally forgotten, guys. One of my people has the ability to hold opponents to stop them attacking. I'm not sure if we gave that to Will. 
but I think hold opponent is one of my abilities and I haven't been using it. Scroll of blur, advantage on attack, disadvantage for attackers. Dead Draugar, dead stuff. Deep gnome, a gate go home. Okay, right. Well, we took a few knocks, we took a few spills. Astarian has no defense whatsoever. He's just always dropping. Um, but I think, guys, we're going to head back on my way. to the fungus camp and report that we have completed our hard work. So, guys, I will see you in the fungus camp. If you're watching these split-up episodes on YouTube, then grab the next one. The playlist is probably on screen right now, and I'll see you then for a bit more. Love and peace.